Today I'm going to be sharing with you four different date night looks that I've come up with that I probably cannot wear during the month of Ramadan and probably won't be able to wear because of quarantine for the sake of spring 2020 date night outfits. Here are the looks that I would wear to date night. Hi, my name is Maham, also known as Malakai Maham. You can find me here on YouTube and on Instagram as Malakai Maham. If you are a woman of color, please make sure to share my video with another woman of color who you know might be interested in some date night outfit. I'm gonna go over all of the four looks with you. All the outfits I'm wearing a lot of pearls in, but I just wanted to wear them in different ways so people can stop thinking that pearls are old fashioned and that they're actually pretty and and they can make your outfit look very girly and feminine. So yeah, the first outfit you're gonna see I have kind of like a wine stained berry lip with some eyeliner and some eyeshadow and brow, but not too much overall are on the face. Pretty much bronzy and glowy. You're gonna see that I had paired that flowy dress with a very structured outerwear, the gray outerwear and the beige color coat that I'm, you're gonna see me wear with all of the outfits pretty much. I love that dress because many different body types can wear it and get away with it. If you're a pair or if you are an inverted triangle, you can probably get away with wearing that dress, especially because there's a feature to tie it around your waist, tie it at the smallest part of your waist to make it look like you have an illusion of a thinner waist than you actually do. So that is what's awesome about that dress you're gonna see I don't have any mascara in that look I don't have any heels on in that look it's a very laid-back sort of a look one of those days that if I was coming back from work and meeting up for a date night now the next look that you're gonna see me in is gonna be a lace cami with a tool layer on the top and and a silk cami inside I paired that with knitted wear because I always get cold whenever I go to restaurants or places outside obviously I'm not going anywhere right now outside. I also added mascara just to make my look pop a little bit more. It made my look really pretty. So the second to last look is one that is a little bit more of a conservative gal. Somebody who doesn't want to show too much arms or shoulders or is generally cold or has too wide of arms and doesn't want to show that part of her body. It's great for square or rectangles who don't have a waist because it creates an illusion of a waist, which I really love about that dress. It's also great for hourglass it's gonna go over your lumps and bumps if you have any lumpy areas around your hip or your tummy area it's gonna go right over it and make it look like there's nothing there which is really awesome I paired it with some really really high platform nude heels so this is the final look that I'm wearing right now and I absolutely love this look it's very funky I know there are a few of you girls out there who are following me right now who are into color and I'm super into color myself this is an outfit I would have worn to work with the green flats and then would have changed into the heels if I were to go out for dinner. And I would probably wear the same clutch. In the daytime, I would probably wear the darker side. And then at nighttime, I'd probably just wear the, the shiny multicolor side of the clutch. And I also have this thespi. This is a prayer necklace that I made with my mom. So shout out mom. <laughs> and I'm wearing turquoise earrings on the top and I'm wearing little flower earrings with a little stone hanging from it which is really cute and then I'm also wearing lots of gold and turquoise details and also this bracelet which is really interesting it's got like an opal type of a thing happening it has some green some yellow some orange I think it's a beautiful reflective piece which goes really well with this sort of like a bracelet so yeah I think that this whole look was really awesome Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to share it with at least one person. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.